When it comes to foldables, Samsung has long been a trailblazer. We don't just rate the Galaxy Z Fold 4 as an excellent folding phone. It's one of the best smartphones on sale right now. But there's always something newer and better in the pipeline, so time to look at its imminent successor, the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The next generation flagship foldable is still months away from making its debut, but that doesn't mean there aren't plenty of rumors doing the rounds on what to expect. In this video, I'm gonna tell everything that you should know about the upcoming Fold from Samsung. Folding phones are the new high-end battleground, and are one area where Samsung categorically has the lead over longtime rival Apple. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 is all but certain, and should make its first official appearance later this year. It's still a little while before the new Fold is due to arrive, but we've seen a few rumors emerging about what Samsung plans to introduce in the update. First up, we think we know what it'll look like, and there's not a whole lot of change here. The usually reliable OnLeaks has shared renders of the phone with the site SmartPricks, and they show a design that's a close match for previous generations. The camera island looks to protrude from the phone a little more, and the flash has been moved from the bottom to the side, but otherwise the general design is pretty similar. We can see a similar shape in our first look at a possible protective case for the phone shared by ICE Universe. ICE has also claimed that the Z Fold 5 will once again feature IPX8 water resistance, the same rating as the Fold 4. That means a high level of waterproofing but no official protection from dust. One big design question is whether this might be the year that we finally see Samsung incorporate the S Pen stylus inside the foam with a dedicated slot. The company reportedly tried and failed to work this into the Z Fold 4's design. This doesn't appear to be the year for the change though. There's no sign of an S Pen slot in OnLeaks renders and Korea's 8 News reports that the S Pen won't slot into the phone. Samsung R&D was working on it, but ultimately space constraints apparently won out, so you'll still have to hold onto your S Pen yourself. That's perhaps because Samsung prioritized keeping the phone slim. Either way, it makes the phone about the same overall size as the Z Fold 4, but definitely thinner when closed, backing up claims from both Korean site Naver and Ice Universe that Samsung is moving to a water drop style hinge that will finally allow the foldable to close fully shut. Speaking of the displays, with the phone overall a similar size, the screens are also tipped by Ice Universe to stay at the same 6.2 inch and 7.6 inch sizes as before. In a large list of leaked specs, the Galox reports that the displays will be 120Hz AMOLEDs, as expected, but adds that they'll be brighter than before and that the outer display will use Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protective coating. The phone will ship using the same customized version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset found in the Galaxy S23 line, meaning it won't use the upgraded 8 Plus Gen 2, unlike last year's use of the 8 Plus Gen 1. We've already seen what's apparently a Fold 5 pop-up on Jeep Bench using the 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, so it seems pretty likely at this point. The phone is also expected to stick with a triple rear camera array in the Fold 5, which according to Yajish Brar will be comprised of a 50 megapixels main sensor, the Samsung Isocell GN3, flanked by a 12 megapixels ultra-wide and 10 megapixels telephoto. Those are the same specs as the Fold 4, though it's possible Samsung has some subtler tweaks in store, the Elect does at least state that the selfie camera will feature a 12 megapixel sensor, which will be a slight increase from the 10 megapixels when currently on the Fold 4. Finally, battery and charging. We haven't actually heard anything yet about the battery capacity of the Fold 5, but its listing on China's 3C certification site seems to reveal that it's sticking with the fairly slow 25 watts charging speeds used so far. As before, a charger won't ship with the phone. There's plenty of room for improvement and we hope that Samsung will improve in every aspect to maintain its position for the best foldable in the market. So, what are your expectations from Samsung's upcoming foldable lineup? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section. And if you guys enjoy the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.